The topic I'd like to cover uh, injuries around the ankle joint and I have a small skeleton here of the ankle under the forefoot. Um, commonly when you're out running or you're out training um, you turn your ankle. Um, you would call it an ankle sprain um, and what you tend to do is to turn the foot inwards and you stretch the outside structures on the ankle. So from your reference you have the small bone on the outside of the leg called the fibula. The tip of the bone that you can feel on the outside of the ankle joint is the, the tip of the, the, the fibula. And from here, there are three ligaments that spread out, the lateral collateral ligaments, that go to the bones that make up the foot. You have one at the front, the anterior talar fibula ligament, one in the middle, calcaneal fibula ligament, and the posterior talar fibula ligament. You commonly sprain the, fr the front one. From your point of view, you'll see a nice egg swelling on the outside of your ankle. Um, the best way to treat these uh, are to rest, to mobilise the ankle, to get some compression onto the ankle and to apply ice to the ankle for at least the first 48 hours. Um, the other injury that sometimes occur is you can sprain the ankle the other way. Very, very uh, uh, uncommon, but you can strain the medial collateral ligament. Exactly the same procedure, you'll get a swelling on the inside of the ankle. For any of these injuries, if you've got any doubt at all, you really must seek professional advice because you can pull a, p a piece of the bone away from the fibula. And it, although it feels like a sprained ankle, technically it's still a fracture. So if you're in any doubt whatsoever, always get professional advice. The uh, treatment for all these uh, soft tissue injuries is the, the RICE principle. Rest, ice, compression and elevation. Once you get the, the, um, the swelling down, then you can start getting movement back to the ankle. One saying that I always tell people, listen to your body. If you're in pain, don't work through the pain. Wait till you're pain free. You can get rehabilitation advice, physiotherapy advice from a local physiotherapist, but please do not work, uh, work through pain. Listen to your body. There are many, many injuries around the ankle and I'll briefly talk about a couple of the others that are quite common to runners or people like yourself that are doing um, long distance events. The commonest will be Achilles tendon problems. Now the Achilles tendon, this is the back of the, of, of the lower leg and you have the calf that comes down the back and inserts into the calcaneum via the Achilles tendon. These are the areas that you often get overuse injuries and you get a very swollen Achilles or you get a small calf strain. Either way, the signs and symptoms will be pain at the back of the leg on movement. Again, rice to start off with. Do not sit in hot baths, do not apply heat for at least the first 48 hours. And with these, these can be very complicated injuries. I would advise you again to get professional advice as soon as possible. You can do the same sort of thing in the front of the ankle. You have um, anterior muscles on the outside of the front of the shin, and you have some deep lying um, medial muscles that come down the inside of the foot. These act like a sling around the ankle. Again, if you train too hard and too quickly, these uh, hypertrophy very, very quickly and you can get muscle strains and you get pain in the front of the shins. Layman would call it shin splints. There's more than one diagnosis for shin splints. If you get anterior shin pain, please get professional advice because you need to rule out any kind of stress fracture. Also, there are many tendons that go down the front of the foot you pull your toes up towards you, you'll see the tendons stick out. These are all individual soft tissues that can be damaged through training. The last point I'd like to make about the ankle is your footwear. Your footwear is very, very important. Don't use trainers for too long so they wear out, but in the same breath, don't wear new trainers for long distance running. You need to break them in for them to get used to the structure of your foot. And again, there's no hard and fast rules about which trainers you should use. Seek professional adv uh, advice, but also listen to your body. When you run in them, if you get no pain and they're comfortable, they're probably right for you. So that's all I'd like to talk about the ankle. But once again, if you're in any doubt whatsoever, always seek professional advice. Thank you.